This video will illustrate how to subtract two trinomials. There are two example questions on here. What is 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 minus 2x squared plus x minus 4? And subtract 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 from 2x squared plus x minus 4. It might look like I'm just asking the same question twice, but I'm not. There's a difference between them. And let's prove that by doing the questions. The way you do a subtraction of trinomials is you rewrite the question. You take the trinomial that is having something subtracted from it, and you write it first. Then you put a minus sign. That's this minus right here. Then you put the second trinomial, but you put it in a bracket. We do this because the entire trinomial is being subtracted, not just the first term. Then, as a separate step, we remove the bracket. Minus 2x squared means minus 2x squared. That's obvious. But minus positive x means minus x. It looks like this sign has flipped. And minus negative 4 means plus 4. It also looks like that sign has flipped. Now we just combine similar terms. 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared. The x squared terms are gone. Negative 2x minus x is minus 3x. The x terms are gone. And 7 plus 4 is 11. This is our answer. Now let's do the second question. It says subtract 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 from 2x squared plus x minus 4. In this case, the trinomial that is having something subtracted from it is this one. So we have to write it first. Then we put a minus sign and we put the other trinomial in a bracket. From now on, the procedure is the same as it was the first time. We remove the bracket, and we get minus 3x squared. Minus minus means plus 2x, and minus plus means minus 7. Now we combine our similar terms. 2x squared minus 3x squared is negative x squared. The x squared terms are gone. x plus 2x is plus 3x. The x terms are gone. And negative 4 minus 7 is minus 11. Here's our answer. Notice how the answer is the same, except all three of the terms have the opposite sign from the way they did up here. So the difference between these two questions is really in how they are asked. The first question asks you to take this first trinomial and then subtract the second trinomial. The second question is a little tricky. It says subtract the first trinomial from the second. You have to take the second trinomial and then subtract the first one. If you do this the wrong way, the same thing will happen that happened here. The terms will all be the same, except the signs will be the opposite. This is how you subtract two trinomials.